people generally look at resolutions and they ask themselves, what should I be doing? It's the new year, it's the end of the previous year, etc. My brothers and sisters, as Muslims, we're supposed to be making resolutions every night. We're supposed to be renewing our vows to, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every night. We're supposed to be seeking forgiveness every night. We're taught to make sure when we go to bed, we make peace with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is a supplication that you and I are supposed to be reading before going to bed every night. And part of it is that, oh Allah, if you take my soul away in my sleep, then have mercy on it. And if you send it back, then, meaning if you allow me to awaken in the morning, then protect me in the same way that you protect the pious friends of yours or the pious slaves of yours. From this supplication, we do recognize and we should be recognizing that we have no guarantee of waking up the following morning. We should be making peace with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every single day. Seek forgiveness. Promise Allah you're going to be a better person. Never give up. If you've fallen into sin again and again, you need to go back to Allah again and again and again. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a beautiful returning to Him. So people sometimes only specify resolutions for the end of the year. That's not something that should be once a year. It should be, as I explained, very often. Similarly, we also need to understand that the years are clicking. They are clicking away. They are ticking away. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us an understanding. We're becoming closer to the day we're going to be meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, we're excited that the years are passing. But we should also be equally concerned, if not more, about what we have done to present to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the day that He takes us away. What have I done? What have you done to present to Allah? Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu attaqu allaha wal tanzur nafsum ma qaddamat li ghad. O you who believe, be conscious of the Almighty, develop the correct relationship with Allah. And each one of you should be looking into what you have prepared to hand in tomorrow. Subhanallah. Tomorrow meaning, when you meet with Allah, what are you going to give Him? All your deeds you've done, good news to those who are going to give a lot of istighfar or repentance or tawbah, turning back to Allah, seeking forgiveness from Allah. If you have a lot of that on your slate and you're going to be presenting that to Allah, good news to you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and grant us goodness. My brothers and sisters, let's make resolutions on a daily basis. And let's look into the resolutions we've made and see how best we're practicing upon them. Let's see how best we're actually fulfilling them. Remember, if you have bad habits, this is the time to quit those bad habits. Looking at the coronavirus, many people said those who have not given up their habits of smoking, be it shisha, be it anything else, those who had habits, astaghfirullah, that may have been totally haram, such as alcohol and, and uh, consumption of intoxicants and drugs and so on, they were more prone and are more prone to struggle and suffer more with this disease. Many have actually lost their lives. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to take our health seriously and not for granted. And we need to make resolutions. The beauty of these resolutions in Islam, the ones connected to your health, you would get a reward and at the same time you would earn good health. So if you're making a resolution, I'm going to take care of my body this time. Wallahi, that body was given to you by Allah and it's going to be taken away. So if you're looking after something Allah has entrusted you with for a while, you would be earning a reward for it. So let's go for it, my brothers and sisters. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless every one of us. So we take that seriously. Those of us who have bad habits, we should be quitting them. Those of us who are weak in fulfilling our duties, be strong. This could be your last year. You may not see the end of the year. Subhanallah. So let's be strong.